Hello and welcome back to Knowledge of Life. All you need is to go to our YouTube channel, then you can see our latest videos. Let's explore life together. Plastic bags, a very common object in daily life. They were invented about 150 years ago by a British chemist. You can find plastic bags everywhere, from markets, supermarkets, to shopping malls. Admittedly, plastic bag is a very useful item and meets a lot of our needs. But besides that, if we use it improperly and don't have a waste treatment process for a plastic bag, it will cause serious environmental damage. It affects not only human life, but also many other creatures. To dispose a plastic bag, you just need one second, but it takes 500 to 1,000 years for it to decompose in natural environment. If only the problem of waste is plastic bags by burning them in the natural environment, this will only cause more harm. When burning plastic, it will emit more emission of toxic, has dioxin and fura causing cancer, reducing immunity, causing birth defects, etc. So how plastic bags are recycled? Let's go to the recycling factory to explore it. Step 1. After the plastic bags are collected, it is sent to the factory, the workers will remove the waste inside the bags, and then sort it. Plastic bags will be stacked based on color, going on conveyor to a storage tank. Step 2. When the plastic bag reaches the tank, it will be rinsed with a pressure nozzle inside the tank. All dirt such as syrup, mud, will be washed off. The magnets attached to the conveyor belt will remove metal impurities still left in the plastic bag. Step 3. In the next stage, the plastic bag will be melted to separate any remaining contaminants from the plastic because all the compounds on the earth have their own melting points and residual impurities again need to be removed. Step 4. At this step, the plastic is melted and dried, then cut into tiny plastic beads. Step 5. The plastic beads are cleaned again in the tank and the magnetic magnets at the conveyor belt will remove the remaining metal. Step 6. The plastic beads will be cut again into smaller ones, about the size of a snowflake. Step 7. This is a very complicated step. The snowflake-sized plastic particles are melted again at 450 Celsius degrees to remove moisture. Any other components than plastic will be thrown out. Step 8. Finally, the melted plastic is cooled down, then dried and cut into beads as step 4. These beads will be sent to the plastic bag manufacturing unit and make new plastic bags. Currently, many countries have been encouraging the use of other items to replace plastic bags to minimize environmental damage. So how to replace plastic bags? Join us to explore in the next video. See you!